So for the past week, I have been testing this out right here, the all new Holly Land Lark M2 wireless transmission system meant for your camera or your phone. But you are hearing the audio that's coming from the M2 transmitter to the receiver that is hooked up to my Sony camera. And everything you're hearing is gonna be unedited audio. So this is directly what is coming straight from this microphone into the camera. Now I did actually record a separate video a few days ago, but I wanted to re-record this because I just got back from CES. And CES is one of the places where I like doing a lot of tests because there is so many frequencies happening, so many Wi-Fi connections, so many people around. And if you are gonna do a test with a wireless audio system, CES is definitely the place to do it. So before we even jump into the pros and cons of this microphone, I do wanna roll that CES footage just so you can see what I went through as far as testing some of the audio in one of the main halls. All right guys, I'm here at CES and I don't know if you can hear me, but we will see how this goes. I'm using the M2, Hollyland M2 microphone attached to my jacket and it is pretty busy. I'm here and one of the main reasons why I want to do tests like this is because this place is where you're gonna have a ton of interference. So how does the audio sound? You probably can't see me way back here in the corner, but this is where I wanna do my test for a lot of these microphones because of the fact that there is so many other microphones going on right now and interference is always the uh, worst here at CES in general. So. How did you audio sound? I'm actually gonna walk back towards the camera now and let me know how do you, does it work. And here's the thing, this is with the noise reduction off. So how does the audio sound? Walking back from the escalators all the way back to the camera right here. Now after using it at CES and hearing the quality coming out of it, the one thing that comes to mind is just simplicity, especially if you're an on the go content creator and you're not necessarily needing a more robust audio system to use on a professional set. This type of audio system is something you're gonna to wanna to look into because they really just simplified everything here as far as getting really clean audio, but not giving you too many things to worry about when you're out there recording. First thing we're talking about is size and weight. And as you can see here, it does have a magnet on the back. You are gonna be hooking this up with a magnet, just like I have here on my shirt, but the transmitter, with the magnet comes out to nine grams, only nine grams. And this is extremely important, especially if you're out there like this, putting it onto a jacket, a shirt, and some of the other transmitters are a little bit heavier. So you'll end up, you know, kind of bending your collar down or it's gonna be flapping around. This thing is super light and as you can see, sits nice and easy on my shirt. Now there are gonna be multiple combos you can get with this system. I have the one that has pretty much everything which is going to be two microphones, a camera receiver, as well as the phone receiver. So I also have the one for USB-C, I also have the one for lightning and a bunch of accessories. This one only comes out to $179. Next combo below that one is just gonna be the basic one if you're using a camera. So you're gonna get the two transmitters here, as well as the receiver that's gonna hook up to your camera, which I actually do have right now on mine. And this setup right here comes out at $159. These also come with some of the other accessories like the wind muff for your mics, as well as this lanyard system. But if you wanted just to have wireless audio going to your phone, they do offer a couple different options here. USB-C to hook up to your iPhone 15 or your Android phone, as well as a lightning receiver for your iPhone. So if you wanted just to use this wireless system for your mobile phones, you're coming in at $149 for the two mic system and the lightning, or $139, the most affordable setup for the two mic system and a USB-C receiver that you can hook up to, like I mentioned, iPhone 15 or your Android phone. Some of the accessories that do come with it, you do have a magnetic lanyard here to hook up to your neck. That way you can actually just pop your transmitter right onto the magnet. You also have, of course, USB-C cable. You have wind muffs that go around the entire mic system. So if you're out there shooting outside on windy days, definitely wanna have this on your mic. All right, some of the accessories that come with your mic is this little wind muff for dead cat. And it is needed on days like this. It was actually just pouring about 10 minutes ago, but the wind is kind of coming through. So how does the audio sound with the wind muff on? Now let's go ahead and remove it. And this is what it sounds like. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. How does the audio sound? This is with the wind muff removed. And you also have some magnetic clips, which is pretty cool. So instead of using the magnet that it normally comes with, you can actually hook up 
the magnet clip. So if you wanted to clip this on to your hat, clip it onto your shirt or your collar, you are able to do that instead of using something like a magnet. The one thing I saw in the package was this right here, which I thought was kind of like, eh, kind of gimmicky at first, right? I was like, oh, they have stickers that you can put on top of your transmitter to cover up the logo of Hollyland. And they have a bunch of happy faces and a bunch of things like that. But then I opened it up and I saw this one right here, which I thought was really smart. They have white stickers and black stickers. I put a black sticker on this one. That way you just don't have a bright logo standing out in your video. So hopefully it blends in a little bit more with the clothing. Now when you do buy the camera and the mic setup, it will come with a little small case just like this. And what's nice to know is that once you put it into the case, it'll then start recharging the microphone and the receiver. And when you're out there in the field, they are rating this to last up to 40 hours of record time. Now the one thing to note with these microphones, they are able to keep them extremely small because we do not have a USB-C port on these to charge them independently. Here you have to bring these back to the case in order for you to recharge the transmitter and the receiver. Another thing about that small size of a transmitter is that you also can't use a lavalier mic. So if you're hoping to clip this onto your client and throw your transmitter into a pocket, that's not something you do here. The microphone is built in to the transmitter and you're not able to plug in a lavalier mic to it. That's definitely a compromise, but you're also paying a much more lower and affordable price with this setup compared to some of the other ones. And honestly, when I was out there at CES recording a lot of stuff through my DJI Pocket as well as this right here, using my phone a lot more because now I'm able to get really good audio with this simplified setup. This is all you need, this transmitter and this receiver that plugs into the bottom of your phone. All right, roaming the floors here at CES. And the one thing I do like about the M2 is the simplicity. A tiny, tiny little receiver that you plug in USB-C to the bottom of your phone. And this right here, this is the audio that's coming directly from this tiny little mic that is uh, hooked up with a little magnet. How does the audio sound? This is perfect for just on the go, especially vertical stuff. You wanna do a lot of stuff with vertical. And one of the reasons why I wasn't so concerned about recording directly to the microphone when I was at CES is because you can play back your footage instantly even while this receiver is still plugged into your phone. So you can record something, then you can preview it right away and see how good or how bad the audio was. Another huge benefit I saw using these smaller adapters is that if you wanted to put your phone on something like a phone gimbal, you have a really small and light receiver versus some of the other ones out there that you have to plug it in. It's a lot bigger, a lot heavier, and the weight distribution on the gimbal can also uh, be you know, thrown off a little bit. Here, no issues when throwing this onto your phone and using it in a mobile gimbal. Now jumping back to the specs of this tiny little microphone, it does shoot in 24-bit, so we do not have 32-bit like we do on some of the newer DJI mics and the Rode mic. But the one thing I was impressed about with this tiny little mic is that they were able to add in noise canceling on the transmitter. Now when you're using a mic, the light will be blue. That means the noise canceling is off. And while you're wearing it, if you wanna turn noise canceling on, all you do is tap the yellow button here on the side once, the light will turn green, letting you know that you are in that noise canceling mode. Now, there is a cool feature here on the Hollyland M2, and that is the noise reduction. So I'm not sure if you can see me way over here, but the noise reduction is off. But let me turn the noise reduction on, click this button here on the side, the light turns green, now we have noise reduction on. So how much better is it you know, kind of bringing that ambient noise of all the crowd noise down? Hopefully you guys will be able to tell a difference, but right now the noise reduction is on. So ideally it should be a lot quieter or as far as the ambient noise quieter. Also, we have the ability to have noise reduction too. So if you want to bring uh, some of the ambient noise down, you can actually click this, click that right here. It turns green. And now how does it sound? with the noise reduction on. So we do have a few different options there to help kind of bring down some of those, uh, you know, those noises from the wind as it's coming through right now, as well as that noise reduction. And the same way you would use something like this, a small little receiver, you can still use it with the receiver that normally comes with your camera. So all I have to do now is talk through this microphone and it is plugged in USB-C and you're able to now use the whole setup 
very similarly. But of course, you're gonna have to plug it in with a cord and that's where, if you know you're gonna be using a mobile phone the most, you might as well go with this route here. It makes it really simple. Now let's talk quickly about the receiver, the camera receiver. And the one thing I like about it is that it's super simple. There's only one scroll button right here on the very top. And all this does is adjust the volume. There's three different settings. Here on the side, there is a USB-C port. Like I mentioned, if you wanted to hook this up to your phone, you can still do it that way also for charging. Next is the power button. And then the bottom button here is to change it from mono to stereo. Now for me, I use mics in a bunch of different scenarios, whether it's gonna be just for basic content creation or I'm also doing stuff on the job where I'm gonna need full control over my transmitters from my receiver. That's something you don't get here where you would get with the Rode or the DJI mics. Now, despite the size of this tiny little system, I was actually impressed with the range I was getting. All right, this is just a sample of the audio coming directly from the iPhone. I'm about 10 feet away from the camera right now. So this is the audio you're hearing. No microphone is attached. This is the audio built-in microphones on the iPhone 15. All right, now we have the Holy Land hooked up to the iPhone 15. How does the audio sound here with the wireless transmitter? I do have the little wind muff attached to it because it is a little bit uh, windy this morning, but how does the audio sound compared to the internal microphone that you would have to use if you didn't have a system like this? Now, the one thing that you'll notice is that if my back is to the camera, if my body is blocking the microphone, you might get a little disconnect there. And this is pretty common, of course, with most of the wireless mic systems out there. Can you guys hear me from back here? I'm gonna start walking back and I'm gonna spin around a little bit. But how does the audio sound? This is coming from this little tiny microphone, hand holding it right now. I do have the wind muff on it. And there it is. How does the audio sound from all the way back there? Now overall, super impressed with the size, the weight, and even the quality. Everything you're hearing right now is coming from this microphone right here. So how does the audio sound? No post-processing as far as audio goes, you are hearing what is coming straight from these transmitters. Now who are these mics really for? I would say if you are getting into any content creation in general, audio is such an important piece to keep your audience engaged, to level up your video production. I love the fact that Hollyland kept everything simple and just giving you the basics, but at a very high quality and especially an affordable price. And of course, if I am gonna be shooting a lot more on the commercial side, I am gonna be bringing out some of the other more advanced microphones because I need to also monitor levels, change parameters, be able to turn on and off the transmitters from my receiver. Those systems offer a lot more options for you to change some of the different settings. Huge thanks to Hollyland for sending me these mics to test out. Super impressed with the size, the weight, and the quality, and the simplification of things that can sometimes be a little complex out there. They've really simplified it for you to just get clean audio to your camera or your phone. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Alger Stasio with FlightPath.com. I'll see you guys out there, possibly with the Hollyland Lark M2. Take care.